Today, we're exploring the chilling story of Giuseppe Greco, one of Italy's most notorious mafia hitmen. Born into a family with deep connections to the Sicilian Mafia, Greco's descent into a life of crime was almost inevitable. Fasten your seatbelts as we delve into the life of this ruthless killer from his humble beginnings in the small town of Chiaculli to his brutal criminal career that earned him the nickname Scarpuzetta, which means little shoe in Sicilian dialect. So sit back and get ready for a harrowing journey into the life and times of Giuseppe Greco, a man whose sinister legacy continues to haunt the annals of Mafia history. Giuseppe Greco's life was marked by his exposure to the Mafia culture that surrounded him in his hometown of Siaculli near Palermo. His father, Michele, was a respected Mafia boss and it was clear from an early age that Giuseppe was being groomed to follow in his footsteps. As he grew up, Giuseppe quickly rose through the ranks of the Cosa Nostra, demonstrating a ruthless efficiency that earned him the nickname Scarpa, Shoe. The nickname was a nod to his proficiency at kicking enemies to death, a reference to his brutal and violent methods. Under Giuseppe's leadership, the Mafia expanded its influence and control, becoming increasingly powerful in Palermo and the surrounding areas. However, his brutal and violent tactics eventually earned him many enemies, both inside and outside of the organization. Greco's reputation as a hitman grew exponentially as he began carrying out a series of brutal murders on behalf of the Mafia. Among his most infamous crimes were his involvement in the 1982 assassination of General Carlo Alberto Dalla Chiesa, a high-ranking official tasked with combating Mafia activities in the 1983 machine gun attack on a Palermo bar that left five people dead and several others injured. He was responsible for the murder of Judge Cesare Terranova, a prominent anti-Mafia magistrate. Throughout his career, Terranova had prosecuted numerous mobsters, making him a target for the Mafia. On September 25, 1979, Greco and his associates ambushed Terranova's car, fatally shooting him and his bodyguard, police officer Lenin Manscuso. The assassination demonstrated the Mafia's willingness to eliminate those who posed a threat to their operations, regardless of their status or position. Another significant crime committed by Greco was the killing of Stefano Bonte, a powerful boss in the Sicilian Mafia. Bontade was a rival to Salvatore Toto Rina, a ruthless boss who sought to consolidate power within the Mafia. On April 23, 1981, Greco and his crew murdered Bontade, clearing the way for Rina's rise to power and marking the beginning of a second Mafia war. This high-profile killing signified the start of a bloody internal conflict within the Sicilian Mafia. In July 1981, Giuseppe Greco made an unsuccessful attempt to ambush and assassinate Salvatore Contorno, who would later become a government informant, or Pentito. Contorno managed to fight back, shooting Greco in the chest. Fortunately for Greco, a bulletproof vest saved his life. In retaliation, Greco and his associates targeted Contorno's friends and family members, murdering many of them in a futile attempt to draw Contorno out of hiding. During the Second Mafia War, 1981-83, Greco played a crucial role as the chief hitman for the Corleonesi clan, led by Salvatore Rina. His brutal methods contributed to the deaths of over 1,000 mafiosi and innocent bystanders during this period. The Second Mafia War saw rival factions within the Sicilian Mafia vying for power and control, with Greco at the center of much of the violence. On November 30, 1982, Giuseppe Greco personally executed Rosario Ricobono, the longtime leader of the Partana Mondello Mafia family in Palermo. Ricobono and Salvatore Scaglione, the boss of the Nose Mafia family, had initially been close allies of Stefano Bontade and Salvatore Inzerillo. However, as the Corleonese, led by Salvatore Rina, began to win the Second Mafia War, Rico Bono and Scaglione betrayed their former allies and killed several of their friends and associates on Rina's behalf. Once Rico Bono and Scaglione had outlived their usefulness to Rina, he decided to have them eliminated. In a strategic move, the Corleonese invited Rico Bono and Scaglione and three other men to a meeting at a country villa situated between San Giuseppe Giotto and Monreal. Unbeknownst to them, this would be their final meeting. Shortly after their arrival, they were separated and brutally murdered by Giuseppe Pino Greco, Giovanni Brusca, and their team of assassins. The massacre did not end with the elimination of Rico Bono and Scaglione. In the aftermath of their deaths, many individuals who had been loyal to both bosses were targeted and killed in Palermo. 
This ruthless purge further consolidated the power of the Corleonesi within the Sicilian Mafia, demonstrating the lengths Rina and his associates, including Giuseppe Greco, were willing to go to maintain their dominance. However, it was during the infamous Second Mafia War in the 80s that Greco truly cemented his status as one of Italy's deadliest hitmen. Serving as the right-hand man of Salvatore Rina, the notorious boss of the Corleonesi clan, Greco is believed to have been responsible for up to 80 murders during this brutal period of infighting among the Mafia's various factions. Giuseppe Greco's violent and brutal tactics eventually led to his downfall. In 1985, his mutilated body was found in an abandoned car in the Sicilian countryside, a victim of the very violence he had once perpetuated. His death remains shrouded in mystery, but it is widely believed that Greco was betrayed by his own Mafia associates, who saw him as a loose cannon and a threat to their power. Giuseppe Greco's story serves as a cautionary tale of the grim consequences of a life lived in the shadows of organized crime. While he may have been a feared hitman and a skilled enforcer, his violent and brutal actions ultimately led to his own tragic end. The Mafia's code of silence and loyalty, known as Omerta, offered no protection from the very people he had once called allies. Giuseppe Greco's legacy is one of violence, bloodshed, and the devastating impact of organized crime on both the individual and society at large. His story is a reminder that there are no winners in the world of organized crime, only victims and tragedy. And that brings us to the end of our journey through the chilling life of Giuseppe Greco, the notorious Mafia hitman. From his humble beginnings to his brutal criminal career and his eventual betrayal, his story serves as a stark reminder of the dark and destructive world of organized crime. We hope you found this deep dive both informative and engaging. 